How you doing? I'm Frankie G, the Cooking Cowboy. And today, it's a little slow at work, so I took a day off, and I'm going to be having some hot dogs for lunch. And I know what you're thinking. Why are you making a video about hot dogs? Well, it's really not about the hot dogs. It's about the condiments. You see, I'm an Italian from Jersey, from a little town called Lodi, which is in Bergen County, just about 15 miles west of New York City. And one thing I really miss, well, well there's a lot of things that I miss from New Jersey, but the one thing that I really miss the most is the sabret red onion sauce. Now, what is what is sabret red onion sauce? Well, you gotta come from the East Coast to understand. We have what's called sabret hot dogs, and sabret hot dogs are primarily used in the push carts in New York City. The push carts with the big blue and yellow umbrellas. So you see, they have a lot of different condiments on these push carts, but the one thing that they all carry the same is the sabret red onion sauce, or some sort of red onion sauce. So that's what I really miss. So today, I'm gonna to be recreating that onion sauce. So let's go see what we're gonna need. You're gonna need about four or five onions sliced, four cups of water, one half a cup of vinegar, a half a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of tomato paste, four or five cloves of garlic minced, a tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of mustard powder. I'm also going to be using a little bit of cornstarch, about a tablespoon, and about two tablespoons of water. When you mix that together, it's what you would call a slurry. Okay, a slurry is used at the end for a thickening agent. And also, I'm going to be using some avocado oil to fry the onions and everything in. So, let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to take the onions and we want to sweat them in the oil. Let's go get her done. So you want to get the pot hot first before you add the oil because if you add the oil into a cold pot, it has a tendency to burn the oil. It should be warm enough. Let's add the oil. About two tablespoons should do. So next we add the onions. Now the onions look like a lot of onions, but don't worry because they're going to sweat down. So you want to turn them every so often. And you don't want these to get caramelized. You just want to get them softened up. So about four or five minutes, that's all you need. So it's been about five or six minutes. I've been sweating the onions. Again, you don't want them to start to caramelize. You just want them to sweat. They'll start to reduce. As you can tell, it doesn't look like there's quite as much in the pot. So now we want to start adding together the ingredients. We want to start adding our garlic. Mix that in a little bit. You don't want it to go that long because the garlic will start to burn. You just want to incorporate it. So now I've got the garlic in, let's add the spices. I've pre-mixed all the spices together so they would just get incorporated more evenly. And spread that in there. Stir that up a bit. Oh my God, the aromatics coming off this are amazing. What a smell. I'm just home already. Now it looks something like this. The next step now, we just want to add our brown sugar. Brown sugar's in there. Mix that up a little. You don't have to go crazy because everything pretty much comes together the same. Let's add the vinegar. Now we want to add the tomato paste.
and then we want to add the water. And that's it. We got all the ingredients in the pot. We just mix it well, bring it to a boil, let it come down to a simmer, and then let it simmer for about 40 minutes, stirring occasionally. And when that part's done, we'll come back, add the slurry to it to thicken it up a little bit, and we're done. All right. I'll see you in a little bit when this is ready. So I've had this on a low simmer for about 40 minutes. And then I wanna add my slurry, which is actually a mixture of cornstarch and water. And that will start to thicken it up a little bit more, and then we'll be done. So add some of it in, mix it up a little bit, let it wait a couple of minutes. If you want it to be thicker, add some more. Okay, so now everything is done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some hot dogs, we're gonna top it off with some mustard and some onion sauce, and we're gonna try it out. See you in a bit. So the hot dogs are done. Let's get them out of the water, into the buns, and then we'll put the toppings on. Spoon some of the onion sauce on. And now it's time for a taste test. Look how beautiful that looks. Now for the test. but I can't. Just tastes so good like I'm back home. Wow, pretty good. These onions came out just like I want them to. That tangy flavor, oh, it's to die for. It just makes me think of home. So until next time, this is Frankie G Cooking Cowboy signing off. So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also that bell so you get notifications for when a new video comes out. See you next time.